toward impeachment. I'm joined now by Marcos Mulatsis, the founder of the progressive website Coast and a longtime political professional, NYU law professor at Melissa Murray, and Basil Smichael, the former executive director of the New York State Democratic Party. Uh, I don't want to put anyone in a box, but you are on cable news and each of you are in something of a box. And so I, I, I set up our panel here tonight this way because, Basil, I look at you as a very conventional Democrat. No, no, uh, we'll stay in boxes. Uh, bring them back. There we are. Basil is a, a very conventional Democrat, having run a, a party in a big state. Uh, and Marcos is known for pushing the party. And so I thought, let's have, and Melissa is, of course, a legal expert. Uh, I thought, let's have the conversation, Basil. Uh, is it time for impeachment? And if not, what is the Democratic Party position explaining why not? coexisting with what I'm hearing from almost every Democrat we interview in Congress, which is that there is overwhelming evidence of criminal conduct in the Mueller report. Well, listen, I, I actually take Nancy Pelosi's position, which she made at the Cornell Club uh, earlier this week, and I was there, that there is some sense that the president is goading, he's used the word goading, that is, is taunting to try to get Democrats to pull that impeachment trigger. I do think there's some elites in our party and there are grassroots in the party that actually also want that. The question is, where are the most of the American people in the middle there? Are they really at a point where they want impeachment? And I think what the Democrats are doing right now is very smart. Without going to that far, you get as much evidence as you can to make the case to go to the American people and persuade them that this is the right direction to go in. Even in New York State here, you have the state Senate um, uh, going, creating legislation to go and get uh, Donald Trump's state taxes. So this is happening on multiple fronts. Mm -hmm. And I'm convinced that at some point in time, if there's enough evidence there, number one, and Nancy Pelosi says, go out and start persuading the American people, we'll get to that point, but we're not there yet. Marcos? <laughs> I know I'm supposed to have a box here. <laughs> uh, I kind of agree that I don't see it as an either or situation. I mean, these are investigations. This is information that would feed into any impeachment proceeding moving forward. So there's no magical uh, impeachment power that suddenly makes these tax returns available to Democrats. They still have to go through this legal process because Republicans are doing everything that's possible to stymie and obstruct. So you got to go through this stuff and, and we're going to find information. And I got to say, ultimately, my goal isn't impeachment that will then die in the Senate because there's not going to be a conviction in the Republican Senate. Senate, I want to see that whole Trump clan in prison. So to me, any information that, that leads to that in the end is, is, is a good thing. So I'm saying like bombs away, like subpoena, contempt, all of that. And Marcos, when you, when you look at some of the groups, uh, and you've done a lot of work with, with the grassroots, Justice Democrats and other groups, though, are saying it's time to impeach. Um, what do you think is, is the key for Democrats to navigate this? Well, part of the problem, I think, is a misunderstanding about what impeachment is. Mm -hmm. I, I think people think you impeach, Trump is gone, not realizing that impeachment is that first step towards a Senate trial. And we do not have the votes in the Senate for any kind of impeachment. Republicans will protect Trump. They're bought and paid for by the Russians. That is who they are. So to me, it's about laying the groundwork, one, to expose all of Trump's crimes, uh, heading into that next year's election, showing base Democrats that were fighting as a party, that they worked their butts off last year to elect a house that is going to deliver for them and they can't legislatively so let's do so investigatively and uh and, and ultimately is realizing that it's a base election next year motivate our people to turn out because trump's people are going to vote no matter what they're mm -hmm. already at 100 percent nothing democrats can do will make them even more motivated to turn out than they already are